Introducing the Tori Fight Stick. The Tori Fight Stick is the latest offering from Focus Attack and is a full featured arcade stick that offers little compromise when it comes to quality and function. Outfitted with arcade standard Samwa push buttons and a JLF joystick, the Tori also features out of the box compatibility with many of today's consoles and systems used in competitive gaming, such as the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC. Let's do a little unboxing and see what this stick has to offer. A Tori is defined as a traditional Japanese gate, which is well represented in a lot of the artwork and graphics. The Tori comes in a nice black box and is well packaged. Within the box you'll find user manuals, a wiring guide to the internal PCB, and some additional accessories such as 30mm hole plugs with screw-on retainer nuts, and extra control panel nuts and bolts. The Tori features a toggle switch for when you're plugging the stick into your choice of console or system. Simply flip the switch to the system of choice before plugging into that system and it should power up easily. On the bottom, there's foam padding that's quite grippy for hard surfaces or while use it on your lap as well. One feature that the Tori has compared to other arcade sticks is that the cable acts as a handle for carrying purposes. The USB cable is easily pulled out of and put back into this little stowaway area while still being large enough to fit your hand into. As you can see, the stick can be picked up and can be easily carried around should you not have a stick bag of some sorts. The Tori has a pretty interesting feature. There's a small door that provides the owner with direct access to the bottom of the Samwa JLS shaft, making it easier to do a ball top swap. Simply grab a small 2mm Allen wrench to uninstall the screw holding the small panel in place. Once you have the panel removed, grab a flathead screwdriver and while holding the ball top in place on the opposite side, unscrew the shaft to loosen the ball top. The Tori comes with a special edition ball top. Simply unscrew it to remove. Grab your new ball top and screw it back on to get it started. Once you have the new ball top screwed back on, we want to tighten it, so hold it in place. Grab your flathead screwdriver again and tighten the JLF shaft to secure your new ball top. Next, grab the screw and the ball top panel and tighten everything back up. Once you're comfortable, the whole process is pretty straightforward. The internals of the Tori stick are easily accessible thanks to there being only four screws to securely hold the bottom panel in place. Grab a Phillips head screwdriver and unscrew all four screws to remove the bottom panel and access your internal. Once inside, you can see that everything is wired up nice and neat using individual wiring harnesses for the buttons, which feature quick disconnects. There's also a small ribbon cable for the headset connector and the JLF's wiring harness. Everything is connected to the Tori's PCB, which is flat mounted to the six chassis, and the instruction manual even has a point-by-point -point layout making it easy for any future modifications, troubleshooting, or repair. Now that we've gone over some of the features of the Tori, let's take it into the lab to see how it feels and performs. Buying, owning, and using an arcade stick is a very subjective, sometimes personal process. There are a lot of factors that come into play. Obviously, you want to take into account that when making a purchase, you're getting the best bang for your buck. This means that you want high quality parts, modern features, and other important specifications packaged together into a product that best suits you and your desires. One aspect of arcade sticks that I've come to place a good deal of weight on over the years is control panel feedback. Basically, what this means is how an arcade stick feels while you're actually playing it. 
Is it lively and do buttons have a resounding satisfying snap? Does the control panel feel hollow? Maybe the stick is customizable and has a sheet of plexiglass where you can insert your own artwork. Does that plexiglass deaden the feel of the actual metal control panel? Does it take anything away from the buttons and how they actually feel when you're pressing them? The Tori comes with what looks to be a piece of 132nd inch plexiglass that enables the stick owner to create and use their own artwork to add a personal touch. The good thing about the plexi that the Tori uses is that it does not take away from how the Tori feels in response. The buttons still feel really good when you hit them, and the control panel doesn't feel lifeless. I really enjoy playing on this stick and feel like it's very competitive when compared to other arcade sticks on the market, especially when it comes to features. If I were to compare this stick to other sticks, I would place it in the same market as high-end sticks like the Mad Cats TE2 or the Aatrox from Razer. The Tori is actually nearly identical in size and weight to the older Mad Cats TE fight sticks. Maybe a better comparison would be the current like of Quamba and Aatrox sticks currently available. The benefit to the Tori is that, like the Quambas and Aatrox, it's playable on 360, PS3, and PC right out of the box. So taking into the account the Tori's full feature set, its quality materials and build grade, and super gratifying feel during actual playtesting, I would highly recommend the Tori to anyone looking for something a little different, but still capable of meeting and exceeding their own expectations when it comes to out-of-the-box arcade sticks.